Police intervening as far left protesters rally against a white supremacist conference in Dixon County. Several Antifa supporters got arrested at Montgomery Bell State Park as they tried to stop an annual event from happening there. As Fox 17's AJ Abel reports tonight, the afternoon was peaceful, but tensions ran high. The protesters today were outraged that the state would allow a white supremacy conference to take place in a state park. Now, there were dozens of law enforcement officers there to keep the peace, but things did get a bit heated at various points throughout the day. This is the eighth year that our state park has been turned over to Nazis and white supremacists for a conference. Beth Foster says the reason they keep gathering and protesting is to make people aware of what's happening right in their own backyards. The state can't deny any group the right to free speech, but she feels like by having a police barricade around the annual American Renaissance Conference, the state is denying the free speech rights to anybody who opposes that message. We are not going to concede our public spaces for them to plan genocide and murder and all of the things that we see them carrying out across the country right now. Daryl Lamont Jenkins came all the way from New Jersey just for this protest. I mean, we don't like this in Middle Tennessee. He says the reason these gatherings started happening here is because the Montgomery Bell Park Inn was a publicly owned facility. They could not be thrown out as easily. So they ended up here. It's remote enough so that they don't get a lot of opposition. Things did get heated for a bit. It was completely chaos. Law enforcement started shoving people, grabbing people, started screaming. It was horrifying to me. Here you can see an Antifa member throwing a water bottle at a car, but the officer managed to block most of it. That person was later arrested. She didn't do anything wrong. She and here's another one of the four being arrested. These charges ranged from disorderly conduct to assault. Will York says he didn't feel safe and he was disappointed. He felt like law enforcement gave the conference goers special treatment. Moving everyone out of the way for them and treating the protesters like, like animals. Members say they will not stop in their crusade to end this type of ideology. And this is a three-day conference. It will pick back up tomorrow morning, but it will end at 11 o'clock in the morning.